welcome to this session today we are going to discuss lists in r lists are an important component of advanced data structures in r programming so this is quite important and i warn you this is going to be a bit lengthy lecture i am your instructor rajesh dorbala and i am a faculty in business analytics and research methodology so basically what are lists moving ahead we understand what lists are often we need a container to hold arbitrary objects of either the same type or varying types okay so let us understand like uh, when i am working on particular objects like i may have vectors i may have data frames i may have lists matrices okay various other things now i need some container to hold all of them so r accomplishes this okay through lists they store any number of items of any type be it numeric or character or data frames whatever they are they are capable of holding them and storing them so a list can contain all numeric or characters or a mix of the two or data frames or even other lists now list can be created with the list function where each argument to the function becomes an element of the list simple so let's put things into practice let's move on to our r software i have already listed out the most important commands so that you can save some time okay so you can just pause the video and you can write down the comments i have put in all the comments which is the objective of the command okay and then you will find the command which you can practice now let's see first let us say i am creating a three element list okay so the basic command is list and the three elements are 1 2 and 3 okay so my list contains three numeric elements so when i run this let us see the output in my console so this is the output for this so when i run this list 1 2 3 this is the list that is created okay element 1 is 1 element 2 is 1 element 3 is 3 fine okay so i'll clear this so that you keep a track of what things are happening so i'll be clearing the console if ev after every command then the next create a single element list where the only element is a vector okay i need a list and i need to store a single element in the list okay but that element has to be a vector that is to say i need to store one vector in a list okay and uh, the other thing and that vector has three elements okay uh, let me just amend it that vector okay the vector has three elements now let's see so first i create a vector that is the c concatenate c 1 2 3 this is a vector with three elements now i just store this in this list okay so list bracket hold this vector in that brackets and then close the bracket this is how it works so i have stored a vector with three elements okay i have stored a vector which has three elements in the list so overall my list has only one element got the point great now moving ahead i'll again clean up my console so that you can just understand next thing okay now create a two element list so simple my list will have two elements okay now the first element is a three element vector that's what we have just created okay and the other let us say is a five element vector now this is what so in total understand i will have two elements in my list and both of them are vectors one vector will have three elements the other will have five elements so i have just done it this way list 3 i have just given a name okay list 3 equals to list c 1 2 3 this is one vector comma i have tried to create another vector of successive numbers that is 1 is to 5 okay 1 through 5 i read it as 1 through 5 okay 
you can if you wish you can put this within c also i can put c and brackets and again create a vector this way but for successive numbers i don't need to put c okay so when i run this okay and uh, just see what is stored in list 3 so in list 3 element 1 element 2 can you see this this is element 1 and this is element 2 in element 1 i have three elements and in element 2 i have three elements great chalo i'll clean this up yep now the next thing that we are going to do now let's create a data frame okay so that we can store a data frame in the list okay so i'll be using a data frame that's already there in the r's base installation that is women okay i'll give a name to it that is the df the data frame and women okay so once i run it the women gets stored in this the df okay now let's see what's there in the df so when i run the df this is what i have okay i have two columns one column is height the other column is weight perfect so just remember this we have created a data frame i clean it up now let's do more of lists now i want to create a two element list okay my list will have two elements first element is a data frame okay i have just created a data frame second element is a 10 element vector perfect okay so one list which has two elements one is a data frame other is a 10 element vector perfect no problem at all list the df that i have created just now and another 10 element vector let us say 1 is to 10 so this becomes the thing that i am looking for now you can see this is the list the first element is this data frame and the second element is a 10 element vector fine great so let's clean it up now moving ahead i have a three element list okay the first is a data frame i already have created a data frame second is a vector no problem i can make a vector then the third is list three okay which holds two vectors so now i am bringing in a list within a list okay so this is interesting so i'm just giving it a name let us say list five so i'll just put it within list one the df is created then 10 element vector okay so this is just a vector any vector you can put it a 10 element vector or a 5 element 3 whatever just a vector is needed and another list 3 that i've created previously okay so i'm saving this list also so i have three different types of elements okay one is a data frame the second is a vector third is a list so let us save it now all these three elements are saved in a list called list 5 now let us check what's there in list 5 now you can see in list 5 i have various things okay in list 5 the first thing is a data frame okay the first element is a data frame the second element is vectors okay and the third element is a list can you see the list nice okay so this is how we save now i clean it up again now let's see now just like data frames okay very interestingly just like data frames what i can do is list can also have names and each element has a unique name that can be either viewed or assigned using names the names command okay now let's see names list five i didn't give any names right so just see when i give names to list five you can see it gives me null so that means i haven't given any name to my elements now let's give names so list five equals to c i'm giving names the first element is a data frame second element vector third element lists okay so i have assigned names just run it and save it so once i have run it it gets saved now names and list five now let's see what are the names in list five so you can see the names that are there in list five list five uh, list five are data frames vector and list okay now let's see what is there in list five 
you can see all the elements come with their respective names you can see this i have data frame the name for this uh, the name for this element the other you can see this is a vector and then you can see this is a list okay so this is what is very interesting so i can give names okay now another interesting thing names can also be assigned uh, first let me clean it up okay now names can also be assigned to list elements during creation using name value pairs okay now i can give names while creation of a list itself okay now let's say list 6 i'm creating a list 6 list okay this is the name the data frame is the name for the df okay the vector is the name for 1 is to 10 that is a vector uh, that is a vector okay the list is the name for list 3 okay so these are the names i have given while creation so i have saved it by running it and then names of list 6 let me see what the names are and when i see you can see the new names have been created and when I run the list 6, I get all the elements with their names, with their respective names. Fine, you can see the new name. This dollar symbol, it gives you the element, okay? See, the vector, the list. So these are the names that I've created. Perfect, okay? Now the next, and the next interesting thing. Before moving, let me clean. Okay, now. Let us create an empty list of a certain size, okay, and that is done with a vector. Now uh, I'm creating an empty list, so I give a name empty list equals to vector bracket mode equals to list. So I'm creating an empty list with a certain size. Let us say I have defined a size of four. You can give any any size, okay, four or five, whatever. Oh, uh, so run it and save it. So I have, okay. So the data has been saved in the name empty list. Now just check what's there in empty list. Okay, it's null, it's empty, okay? And how many elements? Four elements, fine? You can see element one, element two, element three, element four, okay? Then to access an individual element of a list, how do I access an individual element of a list, okay? So how do I do it? We use double square brackets specifying either the element number or name then what do we do note that this allows access to only one element at a time okay now let's see list five the number okay list five the element number before that i clean this up okay list five element number run and check so list five element one is the data frame okay no problem now i'll clean it now you can see rather than giving the number of the element i'm giving the name of the element okay so let's see what it gives me as an output the same thing again that's what okay so either you give the element number or you give the element name both are one and the same clean it up yes so moving further once an element is accessed now it can be treated as if that actual element is being used allowing nested functions okay now i can also use nested functions now let us say list one uh, so list five element one is a data frame in that data frame if i put this dollar and the column name i can access it okay so when i run it you can see i will access only the height that is one column of my data frame okay great now let us see uh, if i put it this way okay list five square bracket comma height again you can see it's giving me the same thing okay so none of the rows and the column okay this means I'm not interested in rows. I'm only in interested in this column. Okay. Now let's see in list five. Okay. I just put this additional thing drop false means I'm not dropping it horizontally. I want it vertically. Okay. So when I do this, 
you, I get the same data vertically okay you can see now I got the height vertically fine so this is how you access nested functions okay now it's also possible to append elements to a list simply by using the index okay what we are trying to tell is I can also add elements okay now let us see I have uh, let me check the length of this list 5 uh, before that I clean this up yeah now let me check the length of my list 5 length will give me how many elements how many elements are there okay so I have three objects or elements uh, three objects in fact not elements okay I have three objects in my list okay so the length of my list 5 is 3 now let's say uh, I want to add another element which is unnamed I'm not giving any name okay so list 5 just put 4 4 means it's talking about the fourth object okay and then assign 2 for that okay 2 is the value 2 is the element of object 4 okay so just run it and you can save it okay now that element is saved okay now if I just want to check what is the length okay now technically earlier it was four, 3 now when I add a new fourth element the length should be 4 so you can see now after adding this new element the length becomes 4 okay I'm cleaning it up now I'm adding a fifth element okay which is a named element that's the difference okay so length uh, list 5 I've given a name that is new element okay and I'm just putting in a vector in that object that is 3 is to 6 let us say okay so just save it run it and save it done then I have length okay I'm just checking the length okay technically now I should have five elements okay so let us see length of list 5 is now 5 now let me see what are the names in that so when I check the names you can see first one is a data frame then is a vector then is a list this is unnamed and this is the new name of the new element okay now finally when I check what is list 5 you can see I have this new element this unnamed element you can see that which is 2 okay the previous other elements the list is there okay another this is the list then vector then you have the data frames so all these things are there fine so this is up for my lists you can get in touch with me on any of my social media you can write to me directly at Rajesh Durbala tutorials at gmail.com till then thank you stay in touch and do subscribe to my channel